Today we're going to learn even and odd numbers. A number belongs to one of two groups. Either it's an even number or it's an odd number. So what's going on? Why is this even a thing? We're going to talk about it. Even and odd is actually pretty easy, but it's just a matter of knowing what to look for. So we're going to be like detectives together, okay? You're going to have to have an eagle eye. To help us out on our quest, we're going to use dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are awesome. And here's a red dinosaur that's... I don't know why it's windy. There's wind going on, and I don't know. what's what's. Let's change the scenery. Let's, let's make it more modern day. There you go. Look at that. Just walking through the neighborhood, strolling. He's ready to help us discover the secret, right, to knowing even and odd. So what is this key that we're looking for? What are we looking for that will tell us if a number is even or if the number is odd? An even number can be grouped by two. An odd number cannot be evenly grouped by two. So it's all about the number two, and that might sound confusing. Let me show you and you'll see. Here is the easiest number to do. We're looking for the number two. Okay? Can it be put in a group of two? Well, yes, because it's the number two. We've got two dinosaurs. That makes two even. Now, this is odd. This dinosaur's all alone. He's not in a group of two. This makes the number one an odd number because he's all alone. That's odd. It's an odd number. Let's look back at the number two. See, what's neat about this is it's an even group of two. That means our dinosaur has a friend. He can talk to his friend. He can hang out. It's not, it's not weird. It's not odd. It's an even number. Here we have three dinosaurs. Now, can we put the number three in even groups of two? Well, no, because that third dinosaur is all alone. The top two dinosaurs have somebody. Three is odd. There's one that's missing a partner. Here we have four dinosaurs. Now we're looking for groups of the number two. Now we have two groups of two here. That means it's an even number. Each dinosaur has a friend. Wow, five dinosaurs. But look, one on the bottom doesn't have a pal, doesn't have a friend. That's odd. It's not evenly grouped into two. Five is an odd number. Hey, buddy, okay, don't don't run, okay? We'll get back to the even numbers. I know you don't like the odds. You don't like being the odd dinosaur out. It's okay. I promise this next number is going to be even because it goes for even, odd, even, odd. Just hang on. <laughs> Man, dinosaurs, you know, so temperamental, you know? <laughs> I mean, what's that all about? I mean, a dog. A dog wouldn't have done that, you know? Dogs are better. I think now than dinosaurs, you know? I'm just kidding. <laughs> dinosaurs are so cool. <laughs> Moving on. Here we have six dinosaurs. Now each dinosaur has a friend. That means six is even. You can split it up in groups of two. Oh, here we have seven dinosaurs, but there's one dinosaur that's all alone. Six of them have friends, but one is all alone, doesn't have a pair. Seven is odd. The number eight. Does everyone have a friend? Yes, there's no one without a friend. Number eight is an even number. It splits up into two very nicely. Eight is even. Let's go even higher, the number nine. Now you can see really quick, it's easy to spot. Is nine even or odd? Yes, it's odd. There's one who doesn't have a friend. Nine is odd. Oh my goodness, 10. 10, is it even or is it odd? You tell me, you know how to do it now. You know the trick. Yes, 10 is even. Everybody has a friend. Now we're about to teach you two sneaky tricks 
that you can use with even and odd numbers, okay? So seriously, it's, it's well, it's, it's not, it's not really sneaky, but anyway. So this first trick is that all of the numbers alternate from odd to even and back. And we're going to show you what that means and what that looks like. Here we have the first 10 numbers, numbers 1 through 10. And the trick was all of the numbers alternate from odd to even and back. Do you remember if number 1 is odd or even? Yes, number one is odd, because remember, number one's all by himself, doesn't have a friend, doesn't have a partner, it's not an even number. Number one is odd. Now, we remember number two, right? Number two is even. Yes, because it can be grouped in two, because it is two. Now, if they alternate, that means which one is number three? It's odd. This is where it gets fun. If three is odd, then that means four is even. Good job. And if four is even, that means five must be odd. Yeah. And if five is odd, that means six must be, you guessed it, even. And if six is even, that means seven must be Odd! Yes, seven is odd. If seven is odd, that means eight is... Come on, what's the pattern? Eight is even. And if eight is even, that means nine must be... Odd! And if nine is odd, come on, is this not just the most fun trick ever? If nine is odd, that means ten is even. They all alternate. So the first trick is that they alternate. The numbers alternate. Odd, even, odd, even, odd, even, odd, even, odd, even. Now, we're going to look at the second trick. The second trick is that with numbers bigger than 10, if it's odd or even, you can see on the end. With numbers bigger than 10, if it's odd or even, you can see on the end. To demonstrate, let's play a game we here at Homeschool Pop call Odd or Even. We're going to look at a number that's bigger than 10, and we're going to look on the end to see if it's even or if it's odd. Our first one is the number 21. Is it odd or is it even? It's odd. How? Why? Well, we look on the end. The end is a 1. A one is odd, it's all by itself. A one is odd, so 21 is odd because one is the ending. Did you know that means 71 is odd, and 101 is odd, and 131 is odd, and the number 1001 is odd. Why? They all end in one. Let's try this one, the number 32. Is it odd or is it even? 32 is even. Well, how do we know? Because of the ending. Look at the ending, it's the number two. Two is an even number because it's a group of two. It can be put in groups of two because it is two. The same rule applies. This is the second trick with numbers bigger than 10 if it's odd or even, you can see on the end, every single number that you can think of that ends in two is an even number. Let's try one that's a little more tricky. Let's try the number 100. Is 100 odd or is it even? One hundred is even! It's even, and we know that because of the ending. It ends in a zero. Now remember our second trick. With numbers bigger than ten, if it's odd or even, you can see on the end. And the ending is a zero, and every number that ends in zero is 
even. Let's look at the chart again. As you can see, 10 on the bottom ends in 0, and it's even. Every single number that ends in a 0 is even. Just like every number that ends in a 1 is odd, every number that ends in a 2 is even. Every number that ends in a 3 is odd, because 3 is odd. Every number that ends in a 4 is even. And it goes on and on. Numbers that end in 5 are odd. Numbers that end in 6 are even. Numbers that end in 7 are odd. Numbers that end in 8 are even. Numbers that end in 9 are odd. And then numbers like 10 that end in 0 are always even. So there you go odd and even. As long as you learn these, you'll know any number because the endings always tell you if it's odd or even. So once you know these, you'll know all of them.